<laughs> Greetings. You can't see anything. Hold on a second, I'll show you. I'll turn the lights on in a minute. Um, I do a fair amount of product photography. I wanted to show you something neat first. Um, here you see red, green, blue. It's not just about red, green, blue. Taste the rainbow. It's like a bag full of Skittles, except it's light, right? I do love doing time exposures, especially macro time exposures. But time exposures, product photography, and uh, macro. Love doing it. So what have I got here that is so awesome? doesn't have to be rainbow colored, obviously. It's not like I'm... Uh, I guess they call this the pride flag of uh, illumination, right? Um, really, really neat. Really neat, and I'll show you how it's useful. Hold on, bear with me for just one bloody minute. I have three of these taped together, but they do not have to be taped together. You could use one at a time. They make these in every color of the rainbow, and these are super awesome for doing macro shots and time exposures. And they are ultra cool, and everybody ought to have these if they're going to do uh, time exposures. Um, they're sold by Glow Effects. They're actually little LED uh, illuminators. They run off of a watch battery. They'll run a really, really long time, actually, because these do not take up much light. Now, the nature of these suckers are, is they fit. You need to use black straws, okay? Especially if you're going to use these for product photography illumination. They fit perfectly right over top of the straw and all you have to do is just add a little piece of tape and so then what you could do and this is a little trick of mine yes it's my trick no one else thought of it is that you could use this for time exposure illumination uh, key thing is lighting control now you can't see it here you have to visualize and this is where doing a time exposure photography is so vital is that you have to do uh, you know, selective illumination. And this is tricks that I learned from Dean Collins back in photography school and uh, other people. But they didn't have these tools. They would use various tools. But I basically got a snoot, except in this case where a snoot is made up of like, you know, a hundred straws in the front of a speed light. I'm just using one straw on the end of an LED. So, say for example, I want to give a red highlight to indicate drama, since usually red indicates uh, power or drama. I use various colors of light to indicate, uh, you know, mood. It could be a piece of jewelry. It could be a seashell. I love doing time exposures because I can sit there and I can open up the shutter for a few minutes and uh, paint things different colors. Just give selective illumination. I can just give edge definition to something. I could just illuminate the front of the Nikon icon and go around like on this shot, for example, and just illuminate the uh, the uh, corner definitions of something and create uh, some dra dramatic lighting. But these are, uh, the straws of course are free basically. And these little suckers are about $2.50. And I've got a bag of these things and I use the piss out of them. And they're really, really cool and insanely effective. Now obviously you can use them like this, but then you know, you've got a wash of light, just like a, a speed light. So a snoot for one of these little, and it does fit perfectly, it fits perfectly, right over the end of the straw. And as you can see there, I've got a perfect single LED source illumination for product photography and time exposures. And it works really, really well. Really, really, really well. It's just like a fine paintbrush used to paint something, except I've got the shutter open and I'm painting with a straw and an LED. So how do you get nice tight confinement on an LED that's pissing light everywhere? Why? A snoot, just like a snoot for your speed light. Except this time it's one straw. I thought I'd show that to you. This is very, very effective. Very, very effective. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later. Another magic trick of uh, time exposure photography, which I love to do because I love having the shutter open and painting objects with light. Thanks for watching, and catch you later. Bye.